Hey, my name is Mark Itell. I host the Mr. Mortgage Show live every Saturday morning on iHeartRadio. But I also bring you The Daily Dose, where each day we dive into one topic or one specific question that we were asked, and we give a deeper and more thorough explanation and answer. So today I had a very interesting situation um, come across my desk, and I wanted to share it with you. And it has to do with the difference between guidelines and overlays. So each loan program, whether it's an FHA loan, a VA loan, a conventional loan, you name it, each specific loan program has its own very unique set of guidelines. So for example, with an FHA loan, they're very specific about what type of properties, what type of income documentation, what type of debt to income ratios they'll allow. There's a very specific set of guidelines for an FHA loan and lenders need to meet those guidelines so that FHA will insure the loan if it defaults, but also more importantly, so the lender can sell the loan on the secondary market, recapitalize their money, and then lend that money again. So lenders make money by lending, servicers make money by collecting the monthly payment and peeling off the interest for themselves. So lenders are often looking to make sure that all the guidelines are met so their portfolio is saleable. Now, during um, times of uncertainty, they may put in place temporary, more restrictive guidelines called overlays. Now, we saw that with COVID because when COVID started and the lockdowns went into place, nobody knew what was going to happen. Nobody predicted this crazy, rapidly appreciating real estate cycle that we have experienced. Quite the contrary. Everybody was anticipating things to dry up. So the lenders put into place temporary, more restrictive guidelines. They raised credit scores. They required a little more down payment. Um, They got a little more specific about what type of properties they would lend against because they didn't know if they were going to be able to sell those loans easily on the secondary market. And should they have to service them, they wanted them to be the best loans possible. Also, too, a lender may put temporary restrictions in place if they're getting more of one type of loan than they consider balanced in their portfolio. So if their goal is to have 17% FHA loans and all of a sudden they have 26% FHA loans on their portfolio, they may raise their credit score requirements for an FHA loan. Now, that's not a guideline. That's their temporary overlay. And here is why it's important. This is why it's important that you know this. I had a situation today where a friend of mine, who's also a lender, called and their underwriting team denied a loan. And it happened to be a single wide manufactured home. And the underwriting team told this individual that it was an FHA guideline. So this is a friend of mine. She knows that I geek out on the guidelines. So she called me. And I assured her it's not an FHA guideline. FHA has no restriction on single wide or double wide. They do have a restriction on the age of the home, but not single versus double wide. We were were able to determine in the guidelines that this is not the case. And she went back to discover that it was their overlay. The The underwriter was underwriting to their lender guidelines. So long story short, this is a loan that we can do because we do not have the overlay restrictions on the FHA guidelines. Um, Here's another one that happens often, and this is quite confusing. VA loans have no minimum credit score requirement. There's, it's, there, it's not in the guidelines. There's no minimum credit score. There are some minimum credit requirements, but not score specific. So you'll see some lenders advertise VA loans with a 500 credit score, some with a 580, and then some with a 620. That's very likely overlays that are in place. So hopefully this helps. And I guess what I'm trying to encourage everyone with this information is to ask for a second opinion if you get a no. Because oftentimes, not always, oftentimes, It could be something as simple as a temporary overlay with a specific lender. And if you try with a different lender or with a broker who has access to many, many lenders, you may find that you're absolutely approvable under those original guidelines. 
and get the loan you want with the rate you want and the down payment you want because the lender does not have overlay. So hopefully you found this information useful. If you have additional questions, um, give us a call or send us an email. I'll be happy to answer a specific question for you. And if you found this this useful, I'd love for you to tune into the Mr. Mortgage Show live on Saturdays. We take your questions live on the air. You can catch the podcast and all the show replays at the themrmortgageshow.com. That's the themrmortgageshow.com. Or check out the Facebook page. Go to Facebook and search The Mr. Mortgage Show. There's a ton of useful information on there. But yep, that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with another round of The Mr. Mortgage Show Daily Dose. Thanks. 